What's good everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I build my trading strategy. I've been a part of several groups. You know, of honorable mention, when I first got started was Forex Boat. Uh, it was great to you know learn the movements of the market and so on and so forth. Um, but you know my the evolution of my trading really took off when I joined No Nonsense Forex, and then of course Lux Algo, fantastic indicator, uh, providing some great confirmations to uh, catch some great trends. Now, one thing that we've noticed when being in these groups, there are three things that are missing in the trading world right now. And one of them is, you know, how do you build, like, how do we help people build a trading strategy? You know, it's unfortunate, a lot of the education that's out there, uh, it's all based around, you know, Fibonacci's and the pivot points and so on and so forth. And there's nothing wrong with that. There are people making money doing those things. But what we've noticed is that, you know, the more that there are people following these certain strategies, the majority of those people are losing money. And so it can't be the strategy that is what's so awesome. There must be other things. And there are, you know, we, the best traders have a suite of indicators that they like to use in order to help them trade. And, uh, you know, helping people build a strategy is such an important element of any approach that you're taking. So if you're, if you wanted to trade pivot points, you're going to need a method to confirm your entry point. And it's really good to not use the same as everybody else, because that's exactly how these banks want us. They all want us trading the same, so it's easier for them to take our money. So the second thing is, is that people want to have a faster way to backtest. And you can take these strategies and you can put them into different backtesting uh, tools that are out there. TradingView obviously has the, tra the strategy tester. You can do the same thing with MT4 and MT5. But the problem with that is that typically speaking, it's not very user friendly. People need to know how to code. It takes a lot of time because you have to backtest before you go ahead and say, yeah, I can actually put this into a strategy tester and backtest a lot longer period of time. Um, and you know, backtesting, probably never going to get out of backtesting. Um, you know, it's like playing an instrument, a musical instrument. You have to practice using that instrument a lot more than you do take the, the, than the time you spend performing. So it's the same thing, same thing. Backtesting is your practice, but it is time consuming. So how do we shorten that time? How do we make, how do we make this more, ex, um, how do we make this more expedient without having to code, without having the unuser friendliness that's out there? And then the last thing that happens once people have this, you know, have a strategy and they've been able to backtest it, they want to be able to take their strategy and have it applied to their charts automatically, you know, so that it's taking trades, live market trades, either into their demo account or their live account. So we've been working over the last few months on building a solution that handles those three things in one indicator that you plop onto a chart in TradingView. And we're going to be working on this, developing this so that it fits as many different styles um, and indicators as possible. But I'm going to share with you how it works. Okay, I'm going to share with you, and this is this is my approach. I open up a chart and I want to build a trading strategy. I open up a chart and I want to analyze what's it, what what season is this chart in, because charts have seasons, folks. The 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 higher the time frame. Of course, the higher the time frame you have, the more consistent those seasons are. But when you start getting down into like the four hour chart or one hour chart, you know, you've got you've got seasons that the chart moves. And so you, you want to be able to quickly adapt to the season of the chart and have a profitable strategy for that time. So um, I'm just going to be I'm just going to be running through the last uh, few months on the Australian Canadian dollar in the 75 minute chart. And here is the tool, folks. Here is the algorithm. When you open it, the first things that you're going to want to do is set up your trading, your trade setup. Okay. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you'll understand what these things are. Um, but this is this is a, uh, an ATR based stop loss and take profit money management strategy. Okay. So you can say my ATR length 14. That's very standard. Um, you know, when, what's the initial stop loss supposed to be? And we're saying 1.5 times your ATR. 
take profit zero, that's where, okay, so once we reach this point, we're going to move the stop loss to break even so that we know that we're not going to lose this trade. Because if we got this far, chances are we're going good. And if the bad things happen and the market works against us by this time, then we're not going to win this trade. So we're just going to make sure that we don't lose money off of this. Then, uh, you know, take profit one. That's your first target. Where do you want that first trade to close? And then, of course, the trailing stop, the multiplier on the ATR being 1.5, which is my standard. You can also say, I want to ignore consecutive output, outputs. So if there's an opportunity to go in a certain direction and then I get another one, I don't want to, I don't want to take the second one. I just want the first one. So you can say, I want to ignore those outputs. Now, here's the cool thing is that we've got the enabled indicators now. So these are all the different indicators that you can, you can have active on your chart. And when you change what indicators are active, which ones are being applied to your algorithm, you can see the results in the dashboard backtest information. So this is taking a period of time that we, you know, I've got here from February 1st to the 7th, uh, seventh month here, so this month, and this is the result of that. So we, you know, we can change the date if you want. You can also change the account balance. If it's at 100, this little tool tip here shows you, when you put in 100, it'll show the results in percent, okay? But if you want to actually see what happens to your account, let's say you have a $20,000 account, it will do the math and actually display your account balance here instead of the percentage of increase. It takes time to calculate. There are thousands of calculations to make this happen. Um, so obviously I don't like that so much. I always like to use percents. And then it gives you your drawdown. So the maximum drawdown was a little high on this. You know, win rate gives you the win rate, 47%. All of the data from your back test is right there in the dashboard. So you can build your strategy. Uh, even your exits, you can even say, hey, these are my exits. This is my exit strategy that I want. And you can see the results of you changing those things in an instant. Very, very powerful. So baseline, baseline, when the price gets to this point, what I want to check my chart out, right? That's how I've been doing it. But I have to do that manually every, every single time. Well, great news. Now I can put that into an algorithm. So look at all the different moving averages that you can choose from even trend magic trauma you know man it's amazing so um you know i don't see elma on here but <laughs> there are so many different ones and we're adding to this list all the time now i like zlema on the 25 it works really really well um it behaves very similarly to a ema7 but it gives it a little bit of velocity to the curve so you can so, so if you're crossing that line chances of you staying on, uh, uh, you know, chances of that being a trend uh, are a lot higher if you're, if you're, if you're using it correctly. Um, and then you can also say, well, I want it, if the line, if the price crosses that line, how many bars do I want to scan for an opportunity? Because it might not happen on the crossing. Maybe it's going to happen two or three bars after. Well, you can give it an expiry. You can say, okay, great. Well, let's make it four. Does that increase the results of my back test? Give it some time. Again, thousands of calculations. Yeah, sure, it increased the amount. But you know what? I like seven because I like it. <laughs> but you can also say, well, let's not let's not enable the expiration. Let's take it right off altogether. What happens? Okay, so it went back down again. So now you know what? Let's go go ahead. Make it seven, make it four because that's the best result. 126.37. You can say, I'm also going to filter the fast crosses. So if the line does get crossed by the price action of that candle, if the candle's too big, it might be a banker's candle and you don't want to enter in on that. So then you filter it out. Or you can say, no, I don't want to filter it out and see what happens. 126, 122. So it's actually better to filter that out. Here you can say, this, this is where I have that rule, 2.5 times my ATR, that becomes a banker's candle, so that filters out. You can also adjust your trend magic if you use trend magic as a baseline. Baseline two, 
Oh, another thing. You can turn this into a two-line cross if you want. So this is this lemma. But then you can also turn it into a two-line cross saying, if I have my EMA3 cross, that's, and sure enough, it went up 132 now. So we'll keep it. <laughs> you know, the exits, you know, if you wanted to test, okay, well, whether or not I use QQE as an exit indicator sometimes. So if I take that off, does it increase my balance? My, the results of my, tech, my test? 132, 107. So no, I definitely want QQE exits for this. Trend magic, you can use that as an exit. You can also say, well, you know what? Here's enable take profit zero. That's the one where if it gets to a certain point, we move it to break even. What if we take it off? Let's see what happens. Goes from 132. Wait for it, calculate. So I saw a bunch of movement up here. Doesn't look like it changed much. I think that stays the same, yeah, 132.4. Even though it changed in here, <laughs> the actual percent was, was, uh, was, was good. You can also say, trade the reversal. Maybe we want, if it reverses, do we open a trade? Let's see what happens. 132, and if we get an indication that it's reversing, do we take that trade or not? 132. Hmm, I would have thought that that would change some numbers there. Let's just uh, let's do a quick refresh on the uh, on the chart here. No, oh, yeah, 132.4. Okay, so then we know that trading the reversal is fine. And there might not have been any reversals in that period of time too. That's the, that's the other thing, right? Um, okay, so let's check out some other options here. WAE, uh, baseline three. Um, baseline two, you add another one. I use Trend Magic as my baseline two. And uh, something that I've noticed is that I like to have the ATR multiplier at three lately, just to give me that extra little bit of confidence in the trend. And let's see what happens. Let's see if it changes. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Every little bit helps. Um, you know, here's baseline three. EMA, open on one. What does that do? It makes sure that if I'm getting confirmation of a bearish, if I'm getting a bearish confirmation, I'm on a bearish candle as well. Because sometimes you can have these indicators line up, but you're on the wrong direction of, of bar and you want to wait for that to actually move in the same direction. And so I use baseline three to make sure that I'm in fact having a bearish candle follow a bearish confirmation. Um, but you can you can make another line if you want, make another baseline. WAE, my, this is my favorite. And you can, you know, change the expiration. You can change um, the, you know, what, what, what is this? This is five, let's change it to seven and see if that changes the results. And it might not because there might not be an opportunity where there was, it was necessary, right? So, you know, let's leave it at five because that's normally where I like it. And then lingering, you can have it where it lingers. So if it goes and breaks out, but then it dips back down into the dead zone, it could still be an opportunity. And so you can keep it. Um, you know, highs and lows. Okay, so if you wanted to follow the trend, you kind of do need to see where the highs and lows are. And uh, you don't want to trade against the trend. And so, you know, if you have higher highs, and higher lows, you don't want to be entering a cell because your movement's gonna be so much smaller. You wanna get that confirmation that you're on a different trend? Use this to tell your back test results what you want, uh, what you want those rules to be. You can even give exp expiration to these as well. So it's like, okay, so this expiring after seven. So after we have a new high or low, we only look for an opportunity within seven bars. Maybe you wanna increase it to 10, I don't know. Back test it. See what happens. 132.5. 136. So that increases our profitability with by adjusting that. Okay. Let's go to absolute strength. You know, this, these are the settings. I always keep them the same. I don't mess around with that. You know, we've got um, the consolidation breakout tool. Okay. So this one here looks like this. And if it's a yellow line, if the if the line is yellow, we don't want to take a trade because chances of it being in consolidation is greater. 
you do not want to enter a trade on consolidation. So that's what that's what settings you can adjust in the consolidation breakout, right? Maybe you don't want it to be 21. Maybe we want it to be 14. Let's see what happens. Does it change? 136. Nope, doesn't look like there was much of a difference at all. You know, so I like 21. Um, you know, QQE exits, RSI. See if this, ha what, what happens if we change this one? 136. This is saying, if I'm in profit and I get a potential exit opportunity, do I want to take it? And Okay, so that lowered it, so so you would know that 21 is going to be better than 14 because it goes back up to 134. Trend Magic exits. This is saying, okay, so I've got Trend Magic as one of my baselines, but I also, if a trade goes a certain distance, I want to switch from my trailing stop and turn it into an indicator stop. So now Trend Magic becomes my stop loss because it follows the trend. Uh, similar to like moving your stop loss to the previous high or low and you know you can you can change the settings here too where it's like ATR multiplier 3 well that's my entry settings what if I change this to a 2.5 as a multiplier does it change my results here just disappeared um, oh that's because that's the multiplier for the indicator I want to see the multiplier of when the actual profit factor starts does it change when I go like this? 136? 126. Nope, so 3 is better. Oops. 3 is better. And here, the multiplier, sometimes I want that to be closer. So I go 2.5. Let's see if that changes it. Uh, 136. Maybe it, it might not. It might not at all because it might not be. Oh, no, 138. So it goes up. So yeah, folks, like this is it. This is how we're. This is how I build my strategies. Um, I'm using all these indicators individually in the past, but now we we can actually have all these indicators in a moment's notice, change up, and have backtest information. And I didn't even get into this, but you can take these as alerts and send them to a third-party webhook, and have it instantly show up on your MT4 or MT5. There's the automation side of things. Ah, <sighs> so exciting. So we've got, yeah, we've got some great, great things. Let's see what happens if I disable the highs and lows. What happens to the number? From 138 to 134. So definitely, we want to keep those. So folks, thank you so much. I'm really, really excited to see the progression of how this goes. Um, we want your feedback on this as well. Now, this takes a lot. This took tons of work. Uh, we've been at it for over two months now, um, full time, full time. And I'm trading along the side. Um, and I haven't even traded in the last couple of weeks just because we're down to the wire here and we wanted to get make sure that this became available for, for you. So um, we're going to be charging probably upwards of $100 a month for this uh, for this indicator uh, as an invite-only script. But um, right now we want we want to bring more people in and using it. We've got you know our trading community using it, but we want more people to be able to use it. Um, so we're going to make it a part of the one-time lifetime membership to Trading Titans. Um, so if you join Trading Titans for that one-time lifetime fee, it will automatically include this indicator that we're going to be charging probably about $100 a month for um, in the future. Folks, we are so grateful that this is coming forward because we see so many problems that are right now, uh, time constraint problems especially. You know, this is going to save a lot of time for people. Um, and, uh, you know, we're using, I'm using this in conjunction with Lux. You know how I was talking about so many on my videos? I was talking about how you need to filter Lux confirmations. Check this out. When I get a confirmation from Lux, here's my cell, right? Zoom in a little bit more. There's my cell. Turns strong. Boom. My algo also lines up because all my indicators 
are also lining up. So my strong confirmations from Lux are a lot more, I'm able to filter out the bad ones. Let's take a look at this one right here. Strong confirmation from Lux going down. But my other indicators didn't say to go down. So I'm not going to take it. So, like, and then here's a strong confirmation from Lux, but I don't have confirmation yet with my algorithm. It has pullback. Thank goodness I didn't go in because that would be a loss. And then I get confirmation here. I'm still inside the strong and away we go. So folks, this is, this is not to be, you know, some competitive thing, you know, where I'm going to try to knock out other algos or anything like that. No, this is something to be used in conjunction with the other algos that you, you can't just take those blindly. You need to filter out those confirmations. And this is a way that not only can you build a strategy, you can have those other indicators out there complement your strategy. Okay. So for the next two weeks, this indicator will be a part of the one-time lifetime tuition to come into Trading Titans. I am now creating videos for every element, every parameter about this tool. Because not only do, do these tutorial videos help you use this, this tool, but even if you don't get this tool, all of the indicators that are being compiled in this tool are free. Okay. So the school, if you can't afford this, or if you can't be a part of this, the school is going to be free. So you can come in, learn how to trade, learn how to build your strategy. I'm going to be using this as a tool, but you can go ahead and get these free indicators yourself, apply them to your chart and use them in your own tests. The only thing you're not going to see is like with the, with, if you apply these indicators on the charts by yourself, you're not going to see like the, the dashboard at the end, right? You're not going to see the immediate results from, um, from your, from your backtest data. You're going to have to manually backtest, but you can get started. And so the, the school itself being free is going to help you build your strategy. And of course, I'm going to be showing you also in conjunction with that school, how to use this tool. So, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. Huge thanks to Wolfie Fabelius. Um, and then uh, Gabriel, you guys are a godsend. I would never have been able to do this without you guys. Um, Lux Algo never would have been able, I never would have gotten to this point had it not been for you. Uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody. I look forward to getting feedback from you. Leave a comment. If you want some time uh, to kind of see, you know, see how this can work for your charts, uh, whatever it might be, stocks, commodities, cryptos, I've been testing around guys. I know how to use this tool. We definitely book some time with me. Let's get this. Let's get this tool giving you the confirmations you need for your trading strategy. In the description is my link to book my time. We'll get you started. Um, again, thank you to everybody. I'm really excited. Thanks a lot.